Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Eater Imperium. We'll pick it up where we left it last week. The goal of this episode is to hopefully make a stab at this province, the one with the pony. It will give us more vision in this area, and on top of that, it will generate a lot of income because of the pony. Um, I would like to have another spot available in my army. Looking at our army, we have four slots available. We have them filled with two swordsmen and two uh, crossbow guys. I would like to have another spot available for a potential healer that we can recruit. And um, as you can see, they also have a bit of low health right now. Actually, very low health. Our last battle was, to say the least, very interesting and we took a lot more damage than expected. So what we're going to do is... First, we're going to queue some buildings in the capital. We don't have a lot of gold, but we're still generating 33 gold per turn, so that is pretty good. And let's have a look here. We got some more income going. Let's see. Uh, Driver's Guild is normally something that I built early on. It requires a stable. The stable actually gives more income from provinces with horses or ponies, plus five, so that's really nice to have. It's 208 gold, but let's queue this one up. There's really not much point right now to expand all our military units, because we, we don't have any free spots in the army to begin with. And magic-wise, we're, we're doing pretty okay. We have our two important ones. Talking about magic, our healing ritual is going to be available next turn. And that's definitely going to help. What I'm going to do this turn is I'm going to move the wounded units into the garrison. That's this guy, this guy, and that guy. So it's not going to fully heal them up, but uh, any little bit helps. So we have no ritual available. We took care of the units in the garrison. And let's look at the provinces. This province has three buildings. This province has two buildings. You can actually build a sawmill. Required for that is a carpenter's guild. Let's actually go to the capital because we don't have the ponies just yet. Let's remove this and let's see where we can find a carpenter's guild right there. Let's queue that one instead so we can actually get some income from that province then. Okay, no ritual available. There's not much we can do right now, we're just waiting for these troops, so let's end the turn. Okay, we don't have enough gold, so we'll just postpone this. Let's have a look at the troops. Yeah, it's not too much. Yield three points, give or take. Let's see what happens if we cast a ritual. Okay, let's cast that healing spell. Let's see, at 15. Okay, yeah, well, we can head our way and Double check on the locations in this one. Let's go to this province and do one turn of exploring in that one. Hopefully get a, an easy battle to warm up. We can construct this. In order to, to actually build that sawmill, we are going to need 76 gold. So unless we get a, a nice battle right now, that is going to take us um, about a little bit over two turns. So let's explore. We find a ruined tower, let's examine. Three giant slugs, and now he thinks that we have a, a good chance against him. Last time we met him and we, had, we didn't have that second crossbow guy, he said we had no chance in health, so... Let's give it a shot. No hill 
holes really we have one here on the bottom okay okay yeah, so let's look at the giant slug so a lot of health decent stamina normal mediocre morale at one speed eight attack eight counter attack so they do pretty decent melee damage uh, the defense is actually not too bad for ranged and then they have five spells available that do well eight damage so they are immune to poison they have a poison shot and if you take any melee damage you will actually suffer poisoning of strength too We really want to keep them at bay and hopefully our archers can finish them off. First of all, I'm going to move this one up. Move the hero there. It's going to take him quite a while to get to us, so that's good. Move him there. Move him there. Move him there. Okay. Let's see, there's no forests here. And magic wise we have two slows, two heals. Um, also have that blast now. Okay. I don't want to leave this spot because the crossbow guys have low range as it is and this is really the only heal that we can get to without taking too much damage. I mean, this one is way too risky. So the plan is just to slow them down and this is perfect. So he's actually going around this impassable. So that means that he's going to be delayed. Let's see. So he has five range. So we're, we're talking about this area where we really have to start shooting. He has five, he has four. Okay, let's start slow. This one. Okay, he can do damage. It isn't much, but... Okay. Oh, he's already in our range. That is not good. So now the only the crossbow guy is in range. Um. not shooting so that's good hopefully they can kill him and I can use my hero to cast a slow on the other slug in the back there Perfect. Okay. this one is coming this turn yeah the slow didn't do too much because they have a high magic resist I'm gonna keep him here I'm gonna move him back all you can do is basically eat damage get poisoned, it's not what you can do right now anyways okay three ammo left, one ammo left eight ammo okay his battle experience or battle participation right now because he's out of arrows 
That can, that can actually really hurt. We're gonna move him back. Can he kill? He's taking two damage. I have to heal him. I'm gonna move him in to hopefully attract one one poison shot. Okay. He has poison for one more turn. He has it for two turns. So let's start doing some damage. He is out of arrows too now, so we're going to retreat him in a moment. Um, he has poison for two turns. Okay, back up. Retreat. You sell us poison. Very painful. Okay, let's move him back. Yeah, this could get painful for the crossbow guy. No. Um. If I don't kill him, he is toast. Well, he can still hide. So let's try this. One health. Okay. Now, if we kill him, he should no longer die. I'm not going to risk it though, because it's the end of the turn. Um, <laughs> I'm pretty sure that the moment he dies, the, the, the battle is over and he doesn't take that, that take of poison damage, but I, I don't want to... I don't want to risk it. Of course, there's a chance that he will then shoot at this guy, and I just don't want to risk it. Let's see what happens. Okay, that's fine. So now we kill him. Let's see if he takes damage. No. Okay. So it wasn't too easy of a battle. Uh, one healer would make a world of difference for us, but uh, we got it done. 68 gold. Crossbow guy gets an upgrade. Either morale or ammo. I think ammo is really important. As you could tell, they both ran out of arrows real fast. Uh, he can do ammo plus one or range attack plus one. Um, yeah, that's the ammo. So we can award him a medal. We've seen this one before. It's uh, shooting accuracy and strength by one, but increase upkeep by eight gold. It's uh, yeah, it's a little bit too much for upkeep. Swordsman gained a level two, which is great. Let's get him some defense. We found a lot of gold actually, 398, 16 gems, and some chainmail. Perfect. It's just that I wish that the, the hero would have gained a level and hopefully command. Because, I mean, we, we fight a battle and we take so much damage, we constantly have to restore our health. And it's uh, it can be a little bit annoying at times. So running back to get back into the garrison. Let's see, this province had all the buildings, but now, because of our gold, we can actually create the mill here. That puts us at 37. Uh, let's see what we can build in the stronghold. This is actually really handy to have, too, the outpost. Uh, let me double check to see what it is the provinces because um let me actually go to the province because when we conquer the one with the pony with the horses then we want to kind of build an outpost there 
because it allows fortification and garrison because this is if you look at it this is really kind of like a choke point really good province to have might be interesting to pursue that stable is interesting too both of them are going to be relevant for that province, so I don't really have a preference as to which one I'm going to build first there. Let's see if there's anything else. Driver's Guild is something that affects all provinces that I have, because I always build a granary in the province that can then be upgraded to a stable. To build the Driver's Guild, we need the stable in the stronghold first, so let's, let's construct that. And then back to the Driver's Guild. We don't have the gold, but... Let's just queue it up either way. Ritual wise, we have to wait two turns for the healing. So let's go, go back to the stronghold. Put him in the garrison, heal up faster. Okay. Let's see. Ah, this one didn't take much time, so. Okay. I'm gonna risk exploring. So you get some experience, hopefully he will not get ambushed, because he only has one guy with him. But I don't want to be standing around while the other guys are healing and don't do anything. It's kinda of boring. Let's examine. Of course, there's not much we can conquer or beat in battle right now, so let's just retreat. We've got some percentage. We don't have enough to build a driver's guild yet, so we're postponing that. Okay, next turn. We'll keep on exploring. 97%. Continue exploring. Not enough there. Let's see how the, the units are doing. Yeah, this guy's at 12. I can heal him at the beginning of the battle, but it's kind of a waste. Let's do another exploration. That's great. One vampire. <laughs> kind of. I think the, even the one vampire would be too strong for our complete army at the moment, to be honest. I think he would still say uh, that it would be a bad battle. Because they are pretty powerful. Uh, let's click retreat. 80. I think the the population actually grew there at this moment. It uh, changed uh, the image while the turn was going. See, it, uh, it, it's now a small town. It's also reflected right away in our gold income. It went up substantially. Let's look at the troops. Maybe we can finally get on our way again. Yeah, we're going to get going here. I must say, from all the games I've played, this is really one of the games where he hasn't gotten the command level up real fast. He has level 1 command. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's kind of random. It's always changing, because normally I would have one or two spots available. And right now it's really kind of tough, to be honest. But let's make our way here. We also have the healing available, but we should be okay for now. Let's see what we're actually going to encounter here, because this might be... A powerful defense. Let's see. Enemy is doomed. Yeah, horse archers and horsemen. I think I last last episode I kind of predicted this. And they are really fast. They do a lot of damage. They're actually, really good units. We'll see that. Let's uh, let's attack. Hopefully, we can do this without casualties. So here are the. This is the horse archer. And this is the horseman. Let's start with the horse archer. Let's look at his abilities. 21 health, 11 11. So that is uh, above average. 4 movement, or 4 speed, I should say. So that is really fast. 9 melee attack, 6 counter attack. Defense, they're not really too great. And they have 9 arrows, but 5 range and 6 damage. So that is really scary because they can literally run to two or three spots and then they still shoot at you and they have two of those then they have this horseman he has no ranged 
but he has more, a little bit more health and a lot of melee attack and super fast. We have some forest, which is good. It won't help as much against the this horseman here, but it will definitely help us against those archers. But they have range 5 and we have range 4. I'm going to move my hero here. I'm going to try to get him on the hill. I'm always contemplating as to whether I should put the hero on the hill or one of my crossbow guys. Um, yeah, this is... Let's see. He's going to take longer. One of these two, we're going to slow. He has one magic, he has one magic resist. Um, I'm going to move my archer here. My hero here. This guy here. I'll probably move him up. But they are fast, so they're, they're, they're going to be in range right away. Let's yeah, let's do it this way. Uh, pretty fast. Now I hope I can slow this guy. But even, even then, this guy does a lot of damage. So I do 11 damage. I'm going to slow him. He still has range 5, so on that note, he can hit this guy. Ah, I shouldn't have done that, I should have kept him there. Because he's in the forest and... Let's see, one, two, three, four. Should be... Now he can hit him. Hmm. Yeah, that... He can now run here, one, two, three, four, and hit him. That wasn't too smart. I'm gonna put him on the hill. In case that horse archer comes and at least he has some kind of defense. Yeah, well this has to be. Well, that didn't help much. Okay, let's just turn him off. Make sure we face the enemy. Now that was really close. So let's see if we can keep him alive. This guy has to... Backstab him. I think we can. Well, we can. Yeah, okay. Let's try. Um, I'm gonna keep facing him though. Uh, face forward. Uh, very painful again. Get some damage on this guy. Okay, not much we can do. Okay, well, we won the battle, we got the province, but we lost two crossbow guys. Good thing they were at high level, otherwise it would be really painful. They're still kind of low, so that that's doesn't make it right, but... Not sure if I could have played it differently. I made a mistake of moving that melee unit back, and I think that really cost us at least one guy. He gained a level, but he's getting health. And that is really not helping us at the moment. So we can go marksmanship 3, which gives me one range and one attack. Yeah, let's do that. Swordsman gained a level. Counter attack. We're taking more losses than I really wish for. But 
we got the province, so now we should be able to, first of all, build the mill. Let's get that, well, income-wise we're good right now because we lost two units, so we're going to get some new ones, but... Hmm, their morale is kind of low, let's get this going. Okay, um, let's run him back. How are we doing here? There are three buildings. We cannot build this because we already built a building in another province. So we have to wait one turn. And then they can be upgraded, so that's good. Alright, let's end the turn. We also should repair our gear by now and see what we can do with that item that we actually looted in the previous battle. So this is part you get your units, you, you try to level them up and it can be really painful when you lose them. It's not the same as just losing one unit in, in most other games and you just replace it. Because in this game you actually get the benefits and bonuses from leveling your units up. So it's kind of depressing that we lost our both our crossbow guys but you know, on the bright side they were not really high level. If they are level 4 or 5 then it's really, really a big loss and can really set you back. First of all, let's repair. We have this item that we cannot wear. The medium armor is it's, uh, highlighted in red. <coughs> Excuse me. So we cannot wear that. Just gonna sell it. 386, but it helps us hopefully with the recruitment of units. Let's have a look. I'm gonna pick a healer. We have two swordsmen. And. I'm gonna get the crossbow guy back. 240 gold. Which we're going to use for mostly for the provinces. Uh, let's see what we built there. We built a pub. We can build a granary. Let's do that. So now we have three provinces with granaries that uh, are going to be upgraded. We are making 65 gold per turn, so that's pretty good. Magic wise, we're still okay. Okay, let's have a look. Our ritual we have available now too. I think I'm going to explore the province up. I'm not sure if we're going to get another battle though. Let's see, otherwise we can run over there real quick or here. Let's, let's actually run over here. So we get one more battle in this episode. We got the units, everything is fine. Alright. Let's explore. We encounter adventurers. Let's approach, see if we can get some gold from them. Out of the loot. And an item. Heavy armor. We cannot use it, but we can always sell it. Laws a lot, it's that simple. Ah, this is growing. Which is that's how many turns? Four turns. So that's nice too. So that will generate more gold for us. Let's explore some more. Continue exploring. We should be able to get more locations here because we only have one. So I'm expecting some more locations to pop up. Maybe I jinxed it. Sixty-five gold income. That's good. Some buildings, but I'm really trying to get a bell before the episode is over. Archery store is interesting. It's not something that we're going to conquer. We are really just going to actually enter the shop. We also have a lot of guards. Let's see here. Let's look what they have to offer. Our arrows are really most basic. Uh, one range attack, four ammo. So this is four range attack, four ammo. Three range attack, four ammo. Okay, what is the range on this? Okay. Yeah, crossbow do a lot more damage, but you do usually sacrifice some of the range. 
poison arrow. Oh, can't even buy that one. It's that expensive. And let's see here. Because this is a bow, so that is 754 plus armor piercing. We have 754 without armor piercing. So this would be a lot more damage. What's this one? 546. Because the bow and arrows that we have are really, really basic and yeah, this does a lot more damage. Let's just do this. Let's uh, buy this one. And um, we might revisit this later. Let's see, we can sell this for 20 gold. It's not going to help as much. Well, two and three. Hmm. Nah, that's fine. We'll come back uh, another time. 114. Let's upgrade the, the granaries. Let's see how much it is. 150. So next turn we can do that. Let's keep on exploring. Now it's great when the hero does a lot more damage, but you still are dealing with, uh, for example, the horseman that we fought just now. I don't think that would have helped much, because I mean I slowed one of them, but he was as soon as he was in range, the other one literally killed the crossbow guy in one turn and one hit. Um, what are your orders? Begin training with the halflings. Don't get one gold. It's fine. I don't destroy <laughs> things like that, so. And uh, that's 89. I would still expect more locations to pop up, so. Oh, that's Gache of the Ancient. Let's, uh, let's have a look here. Great. No chance at all. That's a retreat. Well, in the meantime, we're almost at 100%. This turn will actually get us there. And because we're 100%, we actually get two more income from that province. So unfortunately, we didn't run into any kind of battle. I'm going to visit an archery and see if anything else is available. Let's do this one. Oh. Got some better arrows and unfortunately we'll have to wait for next episode. For the next battle, but at least the hero would do a lot more damage. Arrows 3 and 4, 1 and 4, 141, let's do that. And let me actually equip them. So, you can sell this, you can sell that. Perfect. And we have some gold. Oh, peasants in the province of Shuttle would have found an ancient burial ground. It's rumored among the locals that this is a pagan shrine of their remote ancestors, and many people begin to bring flowers to the ancient graves paying tribute to the memory of their relatives long gone. Um, <laughs> I'll pick the first one. I think this has an effect on their morale. I'm not sure if we're going to see a change or anything, but that's my impression, so let's devote 50 gold and it's not much. Yeah, it actually went up. Great. Nice. Let's see if we can actually see that reflected in the income. Plus 70. Because of their mood change, they actually generate more gold here. Alright, so I'm going to leave it here. Next episode, we are going to be developing this province. Also get more income from the, from the horses, from the ponies. But now we have this resource, and it actually shows on this screen as well if we click on this. You actually see the horses listed. So for any kind of equipment that would require horses... Yeah, we have the horses available, otherwise we would pay 50 gold for each horse used in that um, purchase or recruitment. So I thank you again for listening to my rambling, and uh, hopefully I'll see you next time. Have a great day.